What's good Raider Nation? In today's video, I want to discuss Jonathan Abram. Even though the Raiders defense as a whole has been pretty bad, Jonathan Abram has been a bright spot. Coming into this year, so many NFL analysts, so many Raider fans had this guy as a potential all-pro player. But it seems like after this play against the Chiefs, the fan base really started turning on Abram. And they started to point out that he's just a horrible safety and the Raiders need two new safeties. Even though the NFL media is still very high on Abram as they see the potential in his game, I want to discuss exactly what it is that these people see in Jonathan Abram. So let's just jump right into it. Now the first thing anybody ever says when they're talking negatively about Jonathan Abram is he's a bad coverage safety. Here's the issue that I have with that statement. Here's a perfect example of a play that Jeff Heath gets beat by a tight end, but Jonathan Abram makes up for it and ends up making the play. This is a cover one, which is a typical defense in the NFL, and Jonathan Abram gets to stop and you can see it from the end zone angle as well. Abram's able to knock this pass incomplete. Now this is the all 22 camera angle. So it's clear that Jonathan Abram's the one that makes the play, but when you watch it live on the broadcast angle, it's so quick and it's never replayed. You don't really know who made the play. So here's a great example of a play that Jonathan Abram made, but it was probably never recognized as a good play by Abram. So people don't see these plays. In fact, they're only going to see the Chiefs play on the final play where he allows the touchdown. They're only going to see a couple other plays where someone might point out Jonathan Abram making a mistake. But they don't show the 50 positive plays that he made throughout the season. Or this play where they disguise the blitz coming from the slot and Abram picks the guy up and mans him up and actually shuts him down. So there's so many plays that you will miss because they are not going to ever be pointed out. And unless you go back and you put the all 22 tape on, you just won't see it. Abram has done so many great things in coverage including this play here where he breaks the pass up and this isn't the only time that he's done this you know i've shown you guys a couple of plays already uh, here's another play end zone angle it looks beautiful the way he's able to undercut the ball and break it and knock it incomplete but he was doing this in the beginning of the year as well i remember in the saints game he almost had an interception on a beautifully red play he was able to jump in front of jared cook now he didn't pick the ball off but if you think about it that was really his third ever nfl game right so like a rookie coming in in his third game he doesn't do a whole lot and that's kind of where abram's at right i think he's played a total of 14 or 15 games so far in the nfl but at this point i actually do want to just shift over and talk a little bit about what i think makes jonathan abram special one of the things that i hear over and over and over again about abram is his versatility now, he is not the greatest coverage safety by no means is he a shutdown player but jamal adams my comp for jonathan abram is also not very good in coverage but when you watch Abram, the one thing he does well is when you blitz him, he will get to the quarterback. If the secondary holds up, he will hit the quarterback. In fact, he's done it a number of times this year. His skills around the line of scrimmage are very, very good. If the offense is going to throw the ball, he's able to at least get there and make some sort of impact. And if they're not going to throw the ball and instead they choose to run, if Abram's around the line of scrimmage, he will make the tackle. He's so good around the line of scrimmage, around traffic, around offensive linemen, around tight ends or, or maybe fullbacks that are coming to block him. He knows how to get around players. And that is one of the reasons that he is a special player. Aside from that, he understands how to take the proper angles. He understands how how to navigate and shift himself take this play for example abram does a great job getting to the inside of the receiver that is trying to block him and then not only does he get to the inside but he contains the backside and the second the running back is ready to hit the cutback lane abram's there to shut it down like he runs full speed and knows he's gonna make the tackle which is another reason why i think abram's such a good prospect there's two types of players in the nfl there's those safeties in the nfl that will catch tackles that'll kind of wait around kind of contain things to wait for his guys to come and help him and then there's those aggressive guys that have that confidence knowing that i don't give a hell who has the ball i'm gonna go and make the tackle and that's exactly what abram does right and i know he misses tackles but that's what happens when you're aggressive jonathan abram will miss a tackle but at the same time he will make multiple plays where the running back only picks up one two or three yards and at the same time when your safety who is 10 to 15 yards downfield is able to come and hit the running back behind the line of scrimmage that's a really nice play Jonathan Abram does that very very well and take this play against the Buffalo Bills here's a play that a lot of people really didn't talk about but Jonathan Abram does a great job shutting this play down 
Look at where he's lined up pre-snap and look at how fast and explosive he is. And he goes right through the two blockers and he tackles the, the receiver here on this end around for a loss of three yards. Jonathan Abram makes plays. And these are the types of things that flash on tape his ability to get around people through people and make plays behind the line of scrimmage this is what people look at and this is why there are people out there and i'm not talking about pro football focus but this is why there are people out there who think jonathan abram has that all pro potential a few years back i said that colin miller has that potential of being a pro bowler of being a top tier left tackle and in his third year he really showed out Cleveland Farrell is another player who I think in his second year, especially towards the end of the season, really showed out. And I think Jonathan Abram going into his third year, even though it's technically his 15th game in the NFL, uh, really just his second year, he will show out. And I think he will prove a lot of people wrong. So if you're not on the Jonathan Abram bandwagon, I suggest you jump on. I suggest you do your research and I suggest you put on the tape and check him out because he's a very, very special prospect in my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and smash that subscribe button. We are going to go over every single one of the Raiders players. I will have at least one film breakdown every single week until the season comes back around and I will continue covering the Raiders. I will continue trying to do interviews with the Raider players, uh, the media, and whoever else I can get on the show. So make sure to hit that thumbs up button and make sure to be subscribed. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.